Good morning. Okay, so I've been doing some thinking and I actually didn't take much thinking or thought. Um, but I realized that just having a five minute video about how to love yourself just wasn't doing it justice and there's so much I could talk about in that. So I decided to break it down into um, three videos. The first one's going to be about uh, listening and meditation or meditation and listening. The second one is going to be about asking questions and compassion. The third one will be about um, supporting yourself, your, um, being in a supportive environment, and what it means to have a sustainable um, to be sustainable, to have a sustainable love, okay? Um, so today we're going to talk about um, listening and meditation, all right? So um, as I mentioned before, I had a really, really busy mind. And I feel that one of the reasons why it was super busy also is because we live in a really busy world. You know, we have all kinds of things just shouting at us and craving our attention and just in our faces, you know? Um, we have a bunch of, and they're all contradicting um, um, points too, you know, views. For instance, uh, sex. You know, we have these ads that, of these women who are just posing really sexy, being really hot, but then we're also told, don't do that though because then you're gonna be a slut. Or then, you know, no one's gonna take you seriously. Or whatever it is. So, now we have like all these voices in our heads that are saying, oh man I look really good today and it's like oh yeah yeah we're on point we're on fire and then the other points like yeah now we're gonna be a slut now everybody's gonna call us a slut and then it makes it okay for when people do because our own voices are telling us these things so a way that I got to settle that to where I could uh, almost I wouldn't say push out these voices because it's not a pushing out it's more of like a um, transcending to a point where it just doesn't matter, it doesn't have that much hold on you, you know? So, um, which was through meditation, as I mentioned before, and I, I can only speak on behalf of Transcendental Meditation, because as of yet, that's the only form of meditation that I've done. Um, I've been practicing Transcendental Meditation now for three years. I'm really, really happy about that. And I finally feel like I'm also at this place in my life where I can actually talk about it and what it's done for me. Um, so I'll explain to you what this form of meditation uh, does so that way you'll understand how it creates that space for you to be able to listen to yourself, okay? So um, whenever we're out like doing our daily lives, you know, we're kind of functioning at this level of really loud noise. It's just like this, pay attention to me, this, 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 like so loud, so loud. Well, whenever we're going to go into our, our time to meditate, what's happening is we're, we're here and um, as we say our mantra and as we kind of uh, take that time to ourselves, we're kind of lowering that, that frequency noise, you know? We're lowering it and lowering it so it's becoming very quiet, very settled, very, and then it just gets to a point of complete stillness, complete silence and, and peace. You know, uh, for me, that was a huge thing I needed in my life. I was like, God, please, I just need some peace in my life. I need some quiet, some solitude, you know. I was just working so hard and being surrounded by so many people. And um, and I just lost my sense of self, you know. And so I really needed that, that just quiet here. <laughs> I just needed to be right here. And um, that's what meditation did for me. You know, the more that I practiced, the more I that I meditated, the more I moved into this place of silence and the more that I brought that silence out into my life. So now, when I'm functioning on this level, instead of it being like this, super, 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 now it's kind of like, all right, you know? Now I'm like, okay, I can, I can swim with this. You know, I like to think of it like an ocean, and um, at first it's like this crazy storm, and it's like these waves, and you're like, oh, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, and you're trying so hard to stay afloat. But then, um, as you meditate and as you go in, it becomes more of like a, a consistent wave, you know, something that you're like, okay, all right, I could... I can handle this. I can. I can. I can stay atop of this, you know. And the more that you meditate, the next thing you know, you're just gonna be chilling. I don't know. I mean, I'm not there yet, <laughs> but you might be just chilling on that sideline, just watching it happen and not having to be um, in that in that chaos at all, you know. I don't know. 
we'll see. Time will tell. I'll let you know. <laughs> but um, so that's like the importance of, of what meditation did for me. And so as I mentioned, like as I started getting into these more stiller, silent, less chaotic uh, frequencies, I could start tuning in to my own frequency, right? I could start tuning in to my own thoughts and saying like, oh, wait, whoa, what was that? Like, what did that thought just say? And is that thought true? You know, I don't know. So I got, I, I was able to listen to my mind like, hey, like, um, we want to be super sexy. Oh yeah, but we're going to be a slut. Wait, wait a minute, girls. <laughs> I like to like talk like that because like I said, I'm embracing my crazy. So I like to say like, wait a minute. Um, what if we can be ourselves? You know, what if we don't have to be super sexy and we don't have to worry about being a slut, but we could just look good and feel good? Is that possible? Uh, we'll find out. Let's try it, <laughs> you know? Um, but so it, being able to listen to your own thoughts and your own minds and, and starting to act from, you don't actually have to act from there um, in the beginning, just becoming aware of them. You know, just becoming aware of them, just saying like, oh, that was a weird, th and not judging them, you know, like in the beginning, I, I was struggling a lot with judging my own thoughts. I was like, oh my God, you're such an idiot. You know, I can't believe that you believed this thing for so long. And, and, you know, and then now I'm beating myself up about believing this thought that I believed for like my whole life, instead of saying like having compassion, which I'm sorry, that's going to go into the next ones, but I'll just touch on it a little bit now. And saying like, hey, like, I'm sorry that you believe that for so long. This is the truth now, so you can let that go, you know. But so there's that, and I, and listening to your body, like, um, I learned TM in 2014, and I learned massage therapy um, in 2012, and what that helped me with was to come into my body and to really feel like what my body is feeling, to really um, understand like when I'm tight, like like if I'm in a situation that is very uncomfortable for, uncomfortable for me. Let's say that I'm on a first date with a guy, right? So I'm on this first date and there's something about the situation, like it's not even like, I mean, it, it seems fine. We're just driving to a place that we're gonna eat, but for some reason, like, my shoulder is like super tight and I'm like oh, wow, that's random like I felt fine all day but all of a sudden my shoulder is like bothering me that's gonna give me an opportunity to really like think and ask myself like what's wrong you know like am I what is happening that's making me uncomfortable because obviously there's something in my in my environment that is causing a physical reaction to to this so I can ask myself like are we uncomfortable? Why are we uncomfortable? Is it because we're just scared and nervous about how the date's gonna go? Is it because this person, um, there's something that, you know, maybe we don't trust? Or is it because of whatever? So, listening to your body and listening to your thoughts in the beginning is what's gonna help you to move forward into asking questions. So, and, and acknowledging them, like I mentioned, like acknowledging these thoughts, acknowledging these um, feelings in your body. And when you're meditating, you cannot not acknowledge it. It's just right here in your face because everything else has silent. Everything else has like lowered the volume on all these distractions. And so it kind of raised the volume into your own mind and into your own body. So you'll be forced to um, to deal and hear these things that are happening within you. And my advice here is just be courageous and listen to them. Just be courageous and listen to them and don't judge yourself. Don't judge these thoughts. Don't judge your body. Don't judge it. Just listen to it. And even if all you can do at that time, and you can't act from it at that time, but all you can do is listen to it and say, okay, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Validate yourself. Validate your own thoughts. Validate your own fears. Validate your body, you know, like, oh, like, man, thank you so much, you know, we're all very sensitive beings, and I know that there's this, like, um, idea out there that women have to be super strong to, like, move forward in the world, and men have to be super strong to take care of their women, but we are all very sensitive beings that if we just tap into our truer selves, tap into our authentic selves, 
we will become sensitive to all of our own um, thoughts and our own physical sensations that are talking to us, okay? All right, um, so that's what I have for you today. I'm looking forward to seeing you on the next video. It's gonna be super great.